My solution to cronyism is to make government impotent when it comes to the economy. If the government has no economic power, then nobody has an interest in lobbying for it. The more power the, the government has, the more cronyism there is. Because, and I'll give you this quick example since we're talking about Bill Gates. Uh, might as well use Bill Gates as an example. In 1995-96, Microsoft spent on lobbying in the United States exactly zero dollars. It spent no money lobbying. It had no lawyers in Washington. It has no presence at all in Washington, D.C. And Bill Gates and his management team were brought in front of the U.S. Senate. And a Republican senator stood up and yelled at him. You've got to have a presence here. You've got to build a building here. You've got to spend money here in Washington, D.C. And when the executives left the Senate, they said, look, we're not interested. You leave us alone. We're going to leave you alone. Six months later, knock on the door at Microsoft. We're here from the Justice Department. And you're in violation of antitrust laws because you're offering a product for free. Internet Explorer, for those of you who remember. And that's illegal. Of course, according to antitrust laws, pretty much all business is illegal. But that's a different uh, topic. Guess how much Microsoft today, after 20 years in the court system, being monitored by government, being regulated by government, be basically destroying their business. Guess how much money they spent today on lobbying in Washington, D.C.? Tens of millions of dollars. They have a beautiful building right next to Cato right behind the Cato building, mm -hmm. a glass building, many stories about equal distance from the White House and, and the House of, you know, the Congress, right? Now, they learned the lesson. If you don't play the politician's game, the politician will come after you. So you want to make cronyism go away? Make politicians have no power, zero, over economic decisions. So I believe in rewriting the American Constitution, to include a separation between state and economy.